Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Financial News. Stay with us for more market headlines. The dollar-yen pair has gained an impressive 3.1% in the last session. The highs-lows indicator transitioned into positive territory. The price of gold has fallen 1.6% in the last session. The ultimate oscillator has moved into negative territory. Bitcoin has bounced upwards in the last session, gaining 2%. The stochastic RSI has transitioned into the positive area. The Aussie dollar pair has fallen in the last two sessions, losing 1.3% in the last session. The ROC has transitioned sharply into the negative zone. Those were today's major economic events, and now moving on to world financial headlines. Facebook will provide a way for people to track political sponsored content on Facebook and Instagram ahead of the U.S. presidential election. After several sessions where the British pound provided relative stability for traders, the greenback has come back to life. Oil prices jumped 15% on stimulus hopes, bouncing from the biggest rout in nearly 30 years a day earlier. Coming up, the choices from our chief analyst for today. The U.S. MBA mortgage applications will be released at 1300 GMT, the U.K. GDP at 1130 GMT, the U.K. industrial production at 1130 GMT, the U.K. trade balance at 1130 GMT, the U.S. CPI at 1430 GMT, and the Canadian capacity utilization at 1430 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Wednesday's Market Outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets. Thank you.